Welcome back to another video. Today we have another cringe talk where we look at the cringiest of all cringe on TikTok. Ooh. And I'm telling y'all, with the ban of TikTok still spreading around, like, bro, if these videos were shown to those politicians and nothing else, it'd be a rap for TikTok. It'd be a straight up rap. <laughs> And this video is not helping TikTok's cause at all. I need y'all to see some of these. We're gonna jump right into it. Y'all already know what to do. Smack that like button, sub the notifications on. Let's get it. All right, what's up, guys? So today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make piss air. What the fuck? What the hell is piss air tutorial? Like, what? Why, why would that even be a thing? You got a fan blowing on you with gallons of pee in front of you. Gallons of pee, like, come on, bro. And first of all, you need to drink some water, brother. Like, you need to get some water in your diet. Something, like, when people tell me they don't drink water, I just look at them funny. Like, I give them a straight up stank face. Brother, ugh. So, Buddy is just on the floor. He, he got gallons of pee in front of him, and he got one of those floor fans. And we all know those floor fans, the air hit different, right? That air is nice, right? But you got... This swamp Jumanji water just, just flowing into your face. This dude is sitting in filth. You up here trying to get people thick? They need to send out those people who defuse bombs and then just lock him away in a dungeon. And the thing is like, people can be so deceiving with their cleanliness and since some people are not. Like to me, I'm sorry, I judge people. Like if you look dirty or sm like, I think you smell. I like, I, it's, I correlate all that, right? But imagine you go into his house and he's like, hey. Smell good, huh? Yeah. Tastes good. Tastes the air. Ah. Don't ask me why I act the way I do, just know it's accordingly. Bro, what? If I woke up and my boo was doing something like this, bro, I'm swinging. I'm getting the nearest Bible and I'm hitting you. Like, it don't gotta be a Bible. It, it can even just resemble a Bible. I'm swing. there's no way. Cause clearly this chick is possessed. She, she bleeding smurfs from the mouth. Like what's going on? To me, there's different levels of weird, right? You got that like funny, you know, like goofy weird, right? And then you got that like awkward, hey man, we got to keep an eye out on this person type of weird. She got the sink all messy, like her face is all, like what? <laughs> Come on, bro. People will be like, oh, I'm so quirky. Look what I, bro, this is strange. One thing that I will say is that we're all weird in our own right, right? And when we're by ourselves, especially by ourselves in our home, like we all do weird stuff. We talk to ourselves, blurt out random things, have strange laughs, like just do weird stuff. But this, this right here, like you filmed yourself doing whatever this is. What's you one crazy ass bitch? So I was actually thinking about. About what princess? Well, now I can't think. Oh no. <laughs> Bro, shut your bitch ass. Maybe I'm just mad lonely, but I hate people. <laughs> so I was actually just thinking about, about what princess? Like, it, what? This is so humiliating. And then her little flustered face at the end, like, oh my, I'm hating, I don't care. I'm big hating. Hate it. This is my first time eating a tamale. My Mexican friend said tamale. that they're super good and I'm so excited. What are you doing? What are you doing? You gonna rip off the husk? Wait. Is she really chewing up? She don't make me mad, bro. Oh. Oh. 10 out of 10. I'm not doing this. <laughs> this just ruined my day, bro. This whole video is ruining my day. People piss me off, man. Bro, <laughs> I'm telling you people, she's like, oh, if you don't get your goofy ass. <laughs> What's up? Chewing on implants. I'm so scared right now, you shut up. There's absolutely no way. First of all, why do you have implants? Why do you? have implants, bro. Why does your face look like a purge mask and why are you chewing on implants? Let me suck your titties, baby. So I've never been to ASMR. Like, it's just not my thing. Like, you know, it just 
does something for people's like uh, senses and stimulates them. So I don't really like, I don't like it at all, right? And this dude's talking about chewing on implants. Chewing? Brother, you are chowing down. You are chomping. Like there's, what is chewing about this? And why do you have titty implants in your possession? This is a sick Negro. Yeah, that's smart. I never thought of something like that. Why not? I don't know. Who it. taught you how to do that? Yourself. Yeah, that's no, I definitely got to try that next time. Just put it in. Yeah, just put it in. Yeah. Why not? I mean. Yeah. Bro. There's no way. Like, even if you do this at your house, it's weird. This is a workplace microwave, and you put your raw food on, on, on the hot plate or whatever it's called, right? And and put it back in the little foil bowl. And and, and, and homegirl was like, oh, like, who taught? Like, she's asking him, like, the real question. Like, who taught you how to do this BS? Because this was learned somewhere. He's like, oh, I, I taught myself. She, and she's asking all the right questions. She's, doing, she's trying to, like, pry and, like, figure this out, like... This is a terrorist act right here. You, you absolutely not. Oh yeah, <laughs> Beretta did that. If you've worked in an office and seen these, like you know, these break room microwaves and stuff, most of them are, like ninety percent of them are disgusting. And this dude is, hey, let me just put my burger, and my fries in here, warm it up. <laughs> we good. Like there's no way, bro. This is disgusting. Just look at the rest of the sink. Like the countertop, right? It's dirty in the corner by the sink on, on the front. Bro, that is disgusting. And if you're doing stuff like this at the workplace, I can only imagine what you're doing behind closed doors. Because, I, I, I no, no. Yeah, that brother's starving. I'll be right back, okay? And now I'm just... I beg your finest pardon? What? Did your baby just phase through the rails? Did my eyes just see? Did y'all see that? Hold on, I gotta play this again. I'll be right back, okay? And now I'm just... How what? Huh? I'm sorry, if I saw my baby or anyone else's baby, I'm, I'm, I'm punting your kid. There's no way. Oh, you, you gonna call the police, they gonna throw me in jail, they, I'm gonna show them this video? Judge gonna be like, let him go, free that man. Like, they, they get it, they gonna understand. Yeah. Bro, I would get mad when I would see people at the club with no shoes on and stuff like that. Disgusting, right? You are an employee of Wingstop. And if you've worked at a restaurant before, you just know how dirty kitchen floors are just a floor at the restaurant is in general. And y'all just out there working a, you know, an eight hour shift, chicken grease on the floor, fry grease on the floor with your crusty toes, just absorbing all, like there's no way, bro. There's no, I would have reported this to every type of authority in the book, okay? Like Interpol, come get them. Avengers, come get them. And it's not like it's just one person, it's two of them. So do the other people just have that requirement too? No shoes, feet only? Like at most restaurants be like, you're required to wear non-slip shoes. You just required to wear non-slip feet. Ah! If you don't know what you bring to the table, well maybe you're at the wrong table. Oh my God, oh Jesus! Bro, what is this bisexual milk dud talking about? What? People, full grown men really be doing these type of videos. If you don't know what you bring to the table. <laughs> Come sit next to me, bro, shut up. Shut up. This gotta be a form of sexual harassment. Like this made me feel mad uncomfortable. Like back up from the camera too, please. Don't make us go get our mom. My mom. Boy, if you don't get- They really posted up and then didn't keep this one in the drafts. There's no way. And, and I don't mean to be stereotypical, but I am, okay? I'm, I'm going to be, right? We all have a gr group of people that look like this somewhere in your hometown, you know? This is Elgin for us, right? This is this is the West Side in some, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. This Wisconsin, all over, right? Indiana, bro. 
Y'all cooked. They said, uh, 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 uh. Like, come on, bro. Mom came on the side hallway looking like Jack the Ripper and Jeeves Creepers. Y'all don't get on. So today, it's time to get Tutu ready for her vet appointment. She's been with me for four or five days, and now it's time to go back to the vet. And Bro. <laughs> this is animal cruel. What? This got to be fake. Was this cat from the beginning of time? How old is this cat? Bro, put this cat out of its misery. Does it know it's alive? There's no way. The, the, the cat is deteriorating right before our eyes. This cat looked like he got snapped by Thanos, but it was just halfway. There's no way. Bro, what are you doing? Talking about the cat. We're not, this video is a minute long, bro. I can't even watch the rest. There's no way. She talking about, oh, the cat's been with me for four to five days because it just came back from the vet. Bro. Put it back in the vet. Let the vet do its thing. There's no way. This is torture. Cat can't even think straight. Head leaning to the side. Bro, what? <coughs> Bro, do you see the cat's legs? That's how my chicken wings look after I'm done eating them. Like, what are you doing with this cat? This cat's nine lives. This cat's negative lives. Negative nine lives, bro. The cat, and it's just looking at the camera like, please stop taking me to the vet. I, I'm over this, bro. Like, uh-uh, like when I see humans and they're like past a hundred, bro, just end me, bro. I, I I lived a good life. I don't want to live past a century, bro. Just end it. There's no way. Cat's ears falling off, legs down to the chicken bone. They don't got chicken bones. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, y'all. So last one, right? I'm a big Meg Thee Stallion fan. There will be no Meg slander. I don't want to hear about Tory Lanez, none of that. I don't want to hear about nothing bad about her. No Meg slander will be tolerated. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I love me some Meg Thee Stallion. My tall, dark, thick stuff. Like, come on, bro. She's so fine. And she taller than me. I'm only 5'2", so, you know. Oh, my God. Anyways, we're going to look at this dude's opinion on Meg Thee Stallion, okay? What the f problem with Meg Thee Stallion? You want the basic answer or the petty answer? Because the basic answer is she's boring. A lot of female rappers have the same persona. There's nothing different between them. Megan just dropped her third album and it sounds exactly the same as her first. Let me scratch that. As her first mixtape. Tonight, I'ma let you leave. Baby, you're the best when you're on your knees. Don't be shy, I know how you get. I can feel the tension when we get undressed. Wait, don't rush, you don't gotta fight. Baby, I'm already so going over tonight. Grab your waist up when you touch my chest. Nobody else do it like this, baby. You know I'm the best way. Why stop? You know, second thoughts. We can take turns. You know, I'm a top. You know, you don't gotta worry about them other thoughts. They can talk to. Did Buddy hear the beat at all? It's like he was playing Sparking Zero and, and the beat was fighting him back. Smack the goofy at you. He was literally boxing the beat like bro the the beat was running away from what is happening with this dude's song and he had the nerve to judge meg the stallions like he like i don't mean to bad bad like bro what no i don't want to like i said no meg slander will be tolerated she is very gorgeous to me and this is the first song on his album i would have got a refund immediately three seconds in you got a, a whole album of garbage and you fighting the beat and chasing it like come on bro <laughs> Are you running? And the thing is, everyone can have their own opinion. Cool, right? Like, opinions are subjective, you know? Not everyone's gonna like Megan Thee Stallion, whatever. But, like, you can't be putting out hot garbage like this and then have an opinion on Megan Thee Stallion stuff, right? You went triple dookie with this one. You you are selling negative album sales. Tonight, I'ma let you leave. Baby, you're the best when you're on your knees. Don't be shy, I know how you get. I can feel the tension when we got undressed. Wait, don't rush, you don't gotta fight. Baby, I'm already so going over. Cut that! Yourself. They're all nerds as good as you. 